So they've shown that they can hang with an ACC team that's bigger than them on the boards. Hasn't affected them too much. I'm sure gave them confidence going into this matchup tonight. And it starts with good boxing out. You saw on the other end there, Mackenzie Forbes with a great box out gets the rebound. Forbes has had the hot hand early. Gives it up to Turner. Jump pass, Forbes, another three. That's where she hit her first. You know, UMass women's basketball really had no foundation. We were below ground zero. And they went to the NCAA tournament in the spring. Forbes, the steal. Gives it up to a streaking Elena Rodriguez. Fresh off the bench. To the Penn State. And she likely will. I mean, there's a real good chance that she does. Free throws were good by Angelique Galakalandi. Makes it a one-point game. Here is... The freshman, Glenn Bellows. Bellow fresh off the bench in the last two games, four for four from beyond the arc. Picking right up where she left off against Boston College. You love to see it if you're Carrie Moore for the first year. Mayo slides it to McKenna White. And so far, we haven't seen any points from Harmony Turner, which is unusual just because of what she's done the first two games, 28. See if she gets him right here. Yep, her first two. She heard you. Mansfield, Texas native. <laughs> she knows how to drop him through. Breen also knows a thing or two about that. That's just a veteran move right there for the graduate student. Turner looks inside. This is Katie Krupa, the first. Looking good on both ends of the floor since she checked in for the Crimson. Harvard a four-point lead, three minutes to go, first quarter. Philoxy knifes through and scores with a left hand. And this year, oh, she's way off that, only at 9.7. Corner three won't go this time for Bello, but the follow does. It's been a good rivalry, but these teams have not been each and every year playing one another. Prior to last year, they hadn't played since 2015. See, now maybe they can... Increase the frequency. There's a great feed and find. And four for McKenna White. She's also UMass's second leading rebounder, close to eight per game. Lola Mullaney trying to get going, and that might help. Her new head coach, pretty familiar with her. She tried to recruit her when Carrie Moore was an assistant at Princeton. And she lost out to Harvard that time, but eventually got a chance to coach her. She just had to come to Harvard in order to do so. And why wouldn't you want to coach Lola Mullaney? We saw what she did as a first year, over 15 points a game. Had a little bit of a step back last year. But well, Alex, they always say that if you can score in high school, typically you can score in college, but the question is, can you defend at the next level? Katie Krupa, as a first year, was in the post at the end of the first quarter, and each time down the floor, Carrie Moore was in her ear. Every single movement, cover, rotate, come on back, coaching that first year. They just have to make those with consistency. I said it in the open, that's going to be the key to them staying in this game. Green just pulls the trigger, won't go down, offensive rebound, minute women. UMass can take the lead here on this trip. Having led since it was 5-3. Five, five seconds to shoot. White has been a machine. She continues to produce. She's now up to 10 points. This is where Harvard has to be careful. So you see it. She's working hard on the glass, working hard to get open, working hard to score nonstop. All alone, Gabby Anderson. Too much either. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Harvard, on the other hand, more prone to the turnover, 17 and a half per game. You saw another one there coming into this matchup. Crimson and Turner didn't know what to do with it. Fun start here. Two veteran programs. Brooks. This is Alexia Brooks, sophomore from Indicott, New York. Glenn Bello on her. Ten to shoot for the minute woman. Mayo oh, getting cleared out. Gala Kalani looked like a fullback left open for a three. Offensive rebound by White. Little jumper from Taylor won't go. Another bite at the apple. Taylor in and out. Yet another offensive rebound. Boy, UMass doing everything but finishing right here. And finally they do. Sydney Taylor's first points in the only average nine minutes a game. But when you have Turner out there, that changes just about everything. She is such a focal point offensively and defensively. Into White again, working on Anderson. That's a tough two. 
how long can UMass hold down a player like Turner from scoring? You know she's going to turn it on at some point. You have to be ready for it. Right now, Harvard's wondering how to turn, hold down McKenna White. Got UMass back into the lead. Elbow jumper, and she caught the one. It's like the pace of Harvard's kind of forcing them to play a little out of their comfort zone, maybe. Obviously, the shooting woes continue. 12 to 36 on the on the night for the minute women so far. They need to slow things down and get back to their roots. Mullaney. It's good. Field Mass native. She's been a great player, had a great career here at Harvard, and it's plays like that have, that have really set her apart. Turn her off the pass. See if that gets her going after a quiet scoring first half. Certainly contributed in other ways. Taylor, the response rolled out. McCarthy, Forbes, corner three. No. The Lexi dishes. Taylor finishes. Great atmosphere. Such a terrific trip for UMass despite the result. Taylor. No on the three, picked up by Rodriguez. Here come the Crimson, they like to push the pace. It's good from Forbes. It's her first two of the second. The Crimson, love to see her continue to keep it going. Deep three by Taylor. Calculation, that was not done in my head. I thought we were gonna see the beautiful mind of Connor Clements, hard at work. <laughs> Numbers all above. Unfortunately, not a mathematician. Sonia Glenbello hit both the free throws. Here's a three-pointer, and watch out, Sydney Taylor. She deflected it and ended up causing the shot clock violation. Yeah, this is a UMass team that routinely goes north of 70 for a game as Sonia Glenbello shows off the ring. Green touch of the basketball. The Crimson are swarming. She brought it down on the block there and immediately was double teamed. Glenbello the miss. Rodriguez the offensive rebound and stick back. Orlis in her season debut against Rhode Island. Mayo gets around McCarthy, gets her own rebound and puts it in off the glass. It's been a 7 0 run over the last 81 seconds for UMass. And they get back to Taylor in the final 10 minutes. Sam Breen, quiet night, fadeaway jumper, no. Mayo, offensive rebound, put back, won't go. There's White to clean her up on third effort. UMass continues to wreak havoc on the offensive glass. 19 offensive boards now. And Forbes right up again. Biloxi took that spill in the third, goes up against the taller Rodriguez. Follow doesn't go. Second chance again. Two shots before <laughs> they finally connect. Well, McKenna White there missed a wide open shot. No defensive contest. Gets a rebound, a little bit of a contest, and then makes it. No one covered Mullaney, and she makes the minute. Despite that 19 point first quarter, but. Certainly, Harvard has hung in there with the minute woman. Biloxi, kick out, three-pointer, Taylor, you betcha! Long right now for the minute women, connecting from all levels. 21 second-half points for Sydney Taylor. Bellini! Schmeo says, why not try? Glenn Bello tips it to the grad student. Well, these UMass starters, they, we showed you the graphic earlier, they just don't come off the floor for any extended period of time. They do not. It's amazing the condition, the ability to stay in the game, stay out of foul trouble. Such a, a fun group to watch. Green to work on. Forbes, that's a tough two. First half, she has eight tonight. Well, we knew Harvard wasn't going to hold her down for the entirety of the game. That's just a veteran play there by Breen. She said, I've had enough of being off the glass and off the board. Gets one to go. Just her second made field goal tonight. Rodriguez, oh, that's a pretty dish and finish. 21 for Mackenzie Forbes, a season high. Nice cut by Mackenzie Forbes, showing she's not just a three-point shooter. She can slash in the lane. Middle women by five. This has turned into a track meet here, Alex. <laughs> Matches the biggest lead that UMass has had tonight. Mulaney trying to nibble it down. This is just cooking up to be a great finish out. You just feel it. A two-point game right now. Both teams kind of struggling to make shots right now. And, and for the first time in this fourth quarter, the defense is kind of coming to a highlight. We'll see how the, the, the teams finish. Forbes left alone. She knocks it down. Harvard. What a game tonight. Biggest lead was when Harvard was up 40-31. to 31. It didn't last very long. You see, or rather, uh, UMass went on a run 
right after that to draw much closer. Biggest lead for UMass has been five. Oh, what a play and a fine McKenna White. And the Crimson will keep this pressure on on the inbound. You don't necessarily have to foul here. I mean, if you get a quick defensive stop. UMass breaks the press marvelously. But that's the thing. UMass isn't going to force up a quick shot. You just saw Sidney Taylor, who's red hot, pass up a wide open corner three. They want to bleed this clock now. With a two possession game. Mayo. Great ball handling. Biloxi. Shot clock to five. Throws up the floater with the left hand. 